Hello and welcome back to my channel where I'm sharing hints, tips and tricks on how to make home recording easy. In this video you will learn how to set up and record with a USB microphone in Reaper step by step. Okay, so this is just a quick video to show you how to set Reaper up to record using your USB microphone. So the first thing you need to do before you open up Reaper is actually to go and check the system preferences for your microphone. So on an Apple Mac, you go to the little apple in the corner, go to system preferences and go to sound. And then here you can see I've got multiple inputs and outputs, but let's go to the input for a USB microphone. So this is my USB microphone here. And you can see that I have made sure that the volume is turned up enough. I've turned it up to 80%. I found that's about right for mine. And as you can see, it is receiving signal. So do make sure you've done that. What I found is when I first plugged this mic in, the recording volume was actually very quiet. And so when I started recording, I was getting very quiet recording. So that's the first thing to look at. And again, with the output, just check that the level is up as well. Now, not every single USB microphone will have an output as well as an input. My microphone does have a headphone output. And so if you do have that set up, do make sure that you plug your headphones into your microphone and use it as both an input and an output device. If that is not available, then you'll probably be using your computer's internal speakers. And so you would choose that as the output option. But in this case, I'm definitely going to use my USB microphone. OK, so I've set all my levels up. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, you'll need to go to the control panel and do a similar sort of setting up within the Windows control panel. OK, so now we've done that. Let's open up Reaper and we've got a blank project here ready to do our recording in. Now, before we start doing the recording, let's go and look at the preferences in Reaper and make sure that our audio device is set up how we want it to be. So we go to Reaper preferences and where it's got audio, we go to the device and you can see at the moment Reaper is set up to uh, record with the audio system defaults and that may not be what you want. What you want to do is pick very specifically the device you want to use. And in this case, it is the USB microphone. So I'm going to pick that. OK, now remember that my microphone has a headphone output and so I can use it as an output as well. Now, if you have only got a recording microphone, then you will not be able to use it as the input and the output device. So what you will have to do is allow use of different input and output devices. Now, although it says it's not recommended, you don't have any option. So check that box. And then what you need to do is choose where you want to hear the sound. OK, so it's very likely to be built in output because if you've got a USB microphone, usually that's your recording device. So choose the built in output. OK, but in this case, because my USB microphone has got headphone output, I'm not going to check that box and I'm going to make sure that that's checked. OK, so use the USB microphone, apply and say OK. So now we've done that setting up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a dummy sort of scenario where I'm going to import a backing track. So let's just do that. I have a little backing track here and what I'm going to do is pretend that I'm making some kind of meditation tape and so I've got a meditative backing track and I'm just going to speak over the top of it. Now it could be that you have already created a whole uh, composition in, in Reaper with lots of different tracks and you just want to put your vocals over the top. It could be that you want to sing over a backing track, whatever you want to do. It's the, the principle is exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is because this has got a bit of a lengthy intro, I'm just going to trim, trim the beginning bit like that. And I'm going to just fade it in a bit, move it back to the beginning. And then I'm going to move my playhead back to the beginning. 
and let's have a quick listen. Okay, that's quite loud, so I'm going to really turn this down because I just want this as a, a very gentle backing track to what I'm going to do. So that's not too bad. So that is my backing track. Now what I'm going to do is create a track where I make my vocal recording. So all I need to do is just double click in this space here and it creates me a new track. And let's, before we do anything else, have a look at the inputs. Now, my microphone, I can choose whether I use it as a mono device or a stereo device. So I'm going to actually pick stereo here because I can. It could be that with your microphone, you only have a mono input. And so you wouldn't even be able to choose stereo in Reaper. You just choose the mono input. And so you just set that up like that, like so. Now, because I am direct monitoring through my headphones, I don't need to do anything else with this track. It could be that if you want to monitor what you're doing, and especially if you are monitoring through your computer, you may wish to go here where you where you see the record monitoring is off and actually turn it on. Before you start. Um, doing your recording. Now, I don't actually need to do that because I'm using the direct monitoring of my microphone and that's how I want to use it. But if you do want to be able to hear yourself through the software, then you do need to turn that on. Okay, but I'm actually going to turn it off. Now, the next thing you need to do is arm this track for recording. And as soon as you've done that, you'll see that the levels are starting to move around there as I speak because it is picking up through the microphone. That's a good sign that it's all working. So all I need to do now is hit the record button and start making my vocal track. So I said I wanted to make a kind of meditation tape. So let's imagine that that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to ask you to focus on your breath. Breathe in and then breathe out and so on. So now that I've got my track laid down, I'm going to stop. Okay, what happens is you get this dialog box popping up and it asks, do you wish to save what you just recorded? And yes, you do. Okay, so let's just go and audition that. So I said I wanted to make a kind of meditation tape. So let's imagine that that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to ask you to focus on your breath. Breathe in. And then breathe out. And just to show you that that track is separate to the backing track, what I'll do is I'll just mute the backing track OK, and we'll just play back that vocal recording I just made. So I said I wanted to make a kind of meditation tape. So let's imagine that that. So although we could hear the backing track while I was recording, which is how you'd want to do it, it hasn't actually recorded on that track. That's just recorded the input from the microphone. So that's all good. That's exactly how I want to do it. And then you would move on to mixing the tracks together, making sure that you were happy with all the levels, maybe applying effects and things. That's beyond the scope of this tutorial where I'm just literally showing you how to use a USB microphone. And then you could export the whole thing as an audio file and that would be your complete project. Now, let's talk about some of the things that might go wrong. If you find that as you're recording, you're not seeing anything here and you're sure you've chosen the microphone as the correct input within the Reaper preferences, do make sure you've done that first step of checking the system preferences and the sound to make sure that you have turned the volume of the microphone up. I can't stress that that is a very important step to do. OK, whether you're on Windows or Mac, make sure you've done that. And then the second thing is to make sure that you have plugged your headphones or your speakers in to wherever the sound is coming out. So don't plug your headphones into your computer headphone output. If you have set your microphone up 
to listen through that. Make sure you plug your headphones into your microphone. And here's something else that might be a problem. Some microphones allow you to choose whether you listen entirely to the signal coming into the microphone or entirely the signal coming from your computer or a mix of the two in the middle. And you'll see that my microphone has that particular dial on it. And so if you're not hearing anything, do check where that dial is set to make sure that you are listening to both the audio from the microphone and the computer or some kind of, you know, just check where the sound is coming from as you're playing back. That's the most common thing is just getting in a muddle where the sound is coming out. That in a nutshell is how you record in Reaper using a USB microphone. I hope you found it helpful. If you've got any further questions, do post them below. If you enjoyed watching this tutorial, then do visit my website, www.musicrepo.com, where you will find plenty more articles on home recording made easy, including how to set up your home studio, choosing the best microphones and recording gear, and much more. Look in the description below for links to posts that you'll find useful. I hope you found that useful and if you did please do like the video. If you've got any questions or comments don't forget to post them below and if you want to get more of my tips and tricks on home recording then please do subscribe to the channel. Well thanks for watching and see you next time.